I welcome all of you. And uh, you know, we on Europedia keep talking about hidden departments. So th this was hidden department a couple of years back, Satara Bombay, Rural Technology Department. It was hidden. Bohat kam score pe admission hota tha usme. Then obviously we uh, started telling about the department remain no more hidden. And uh, uh, students started applying uh, about uh, for this department and there are a lot of opportunities. Opportunities in any department will open up if you take that department seriously and opportunities exist. The moment you are inside IIT, whether it is a rural technology department or an energy science department, material science department or any department, there are a lot of opportunities. You need to know that. Today, my interaction is with Amitabh. So Amitabh last year, you know, we got multiple options and I remember multiple sessions uh, with Amitabh. He's a wonderful guy. He's from Velour Institute of Technology, civil engineer, VIT Velour, uh, civil engineer. And uh, last year he wrote gate paper with civil engineering, got uh, 600 gate score and environment science. He wrote 762 gate score he got with environment science. He's a general category student and with the CGPA less than seven. So he could not apply majority of MS. Presently, he's doing MTech in Satara, Bombay. And uh, the wonderful thing is he has got UNICEF fellowship also in that. That means he will be getting first year 12,400 scholarship, but second year 15,000 and third year 60,000, 60,000 per month. Satara is the gateway to work in United Nations and its specialized agencies like UNICEF, WHO, uh, food and agriculture organizations and many other specialized bodies of United Nations. Looks like you are working in the rural areas. You are working actually sitting in cities, but working on technology, working for rural areas, but not working in rural areas. Wonderful thing. People can go to Japan. I mean, after this fellowship, during fellowship third year, you can go to developed nations to enhance your skills. Many things Abhitabh has told. There's a way to get into Satara. Though he got uh, in MTech, high gate score is required. But for MTech RA, which is in the Bombay for MS, very less gate score pay you can get into that. You have to write SOPs and uh, some kind of you know uh, applications. You have to fill uh, some essay. You have to write interview. You have to face, and you can get into that. Listen to this wonderful opportunities for civil engineers in this particular department. Okay, so Abhitabh, let me thank you for this wonderful interaction time which you have given to me today. Are you are welcome. Okay. Uh, Abhitabh, this is, uh, I, I, as far as I remember, this is my second interaction with you, which yes. uh, we'll be sharing with students. And uh, you are doing your MTech in a very prestigious course, that is Satara, that is Rural mm -hmm. Technology Related Department of IIT mm -hmm. Bombay, uh, very prestigious IIT. And, uh, you know, it is very uh, uh, interesting, uh, this particular entire session, because not only you are uh, TAP, that means you are, uh, uh, there's a teaching assistantship from Ministry of HRD, but you are on the project TAP, and uh, that is UNICEF sponsored project, uh, you have mm -hmm. become the fellow for that also in uh, Satara department. So we will be knowing mm -hmm. in detail about this department from you, and what are the opportunities and students have less idea about Satara and the process, mm -hmm. uh, how we go for it and uh, how we apply into that. So I want to record and uh, your experience about this entire session for the benefit of students. First, I come to you, uh, Abhitabh, please tell us in detail about your academic background. Aapne graduation kahan se kiya from which part of India and from which college and then when, uh, did you wrote your gate exam with which uh, branches, civil or environment? Mm -hmm. And then what was your GATE score? What was your CGPA? So this basic and what is your category? This basic information mm -hmm. to start with. Sir, uh, I have completed my graduation in civil engineering from VIT University, who Vellor ka jo branch hai. Okay. And uh, usme I had my CGPA, which was 9 uh, 6.95. 6.95. So uh, since my CGPA was below 7, so I could not apply for MS and PhD. Yes. Uh, and I did that in 2019. So after working for a year and a half in 2021, I decided to like give gate examination. So usme I gave gate from two papers, civil and environmental sciences. So civil mein my score was okay. It was around 600. And uh, in environmental science, I got a gate score of 762. So, 762. Uh, so that got me a all in the rank of 60. Some it was 60. So from that, I applied to all the universities and then I got into Sitara. What is your category, uh, Abhita? General category. General category. And you did civil yeah. engineering from VIT? 
अकॉर्डिंग टू देर बैकग्राउंड एंड गेट स्कोर दे कैन चूज आई दर because i applied for aerospace structures which is uh, structural engineering department right so i got that aerospace structure in iit kan but i got on the basis of my environment engineering the gate score because my background was of civil engineering okay so that is very important information that agar aapko yeah, structure yeah. mein jana hai you can yeah. get into structures with environment science also in aerospace ha uh-huh. uh-huh. but only in kanpur not other iits so since you have mentioned this i want to ask you mm-hmm. abhitab like if some student is having environment science score can he think of mm-hmm. getting admission in structure anywhere else in india no only only no. environment science he can go only right? environmental science and only in iit kanpur only in iit kanpur okay great mm-hmm. so now now coming to amitabh since uh, you were having 762 environment science score mm-hmm. and and i remember interacting with you multiple times during counseling mm-hmm. last year Can you tell me what other options explored for you? IIT Kanpur Aerospace you got, I know that. Mm-hmm. Satara you got, I know. What mm-hmm. other options did you explore with this? Uh, in ser- in BHU you can go for ceramic. Okay. Uh, in all the mostly almost all the IITs you can go for data science, which is very much in demand these days. Uh, especially in Hyderabad and uh, few courses in Delhi also. But uh, at that time I was not uh, very much inclined towards data science because. But did you My get the call? Did you get the call or something? Yes, yes, yes. I got the call. I filled only two in. Uh, I filled only in Hyderabad and Delhi. I got it in Delhi and Hyderabad, but I did not go for it because uh, I felt you it got, should uh, be more. Than... Which department you got in Hyderabad and uh, Delhi? Uh, in Hyderabad, it was something related. to it was based on data science only it was something related to because my branch was from highway it was something related to traffic control or something i'm not okay. sure and one more was there uh, solid waste management or something i don't remember exactly uh, those things i mean there are multiple you will get to know according to the college because they release a brochure but there are many departments which take environmental science it's not just this energy sciences also you can apply for in this thing and iit mumbai i could have gone i got the interview call from uh, data computing from iic bangalore acha that is mtech uh-huh. huh? mtech yeah, yeah. i could have filled for ms phd you know because my cgp was below 7 interview tha kya wahan pe iic mein ha Was interview it? tha ha smart <laughs> manufacturing was also there uh, which is also based on data analysis mm-hmm. and all those things which is uh, in iic bangalore only so you will get a lot of opportunities because uh, as you remember in the first round only i got calls from i think nine iits and in second round also i got from three or four iits then i did not wait for the fourth and fifth round so till the three rounds i got uh, iit mumbai i was waiting with this thing and then after that i thought okay, it is good thing because i was getting fellowship also so majority of the options you explored with environment science score only right yeah yeah be only basics i was uh, like only basic i opt from civil engineering score because my civil score was not very good so and yeah i was not getting that good of opportunity because obviously there is a huge difference between 600 gates per and 762 gates per obviously so that now, is uh, yeah i did yeah not. now amitabh coming to satara is uh, i'm excited to discuss uh, satara with you so satara is a two years mtech program but i think with you unicef fellowship it is three years yes, so please tell us uh, about uh, what is the unicef scol- uh, fellowship for satara people are aware about satara they know about satara now but unicef wala part unko nahi pata aur uh, aap please wo hame bataye ki what is the satara fellowship for uh, sorry unicef uh, fellowship for satara mm-hmm. and uh, what are the benefits of that fellowship sir uh, satara me there are many Uh, just just like morda ministry of rural development and bif and unicef and technomont all these fellowships the student get fellowship is uh, these uh, industries or whatever the organizations the well known organizations unicef and morda are obviously very good organizations so they release fellowships in which they will release few projects and you will get stipend with them and you have to work under the projects with them 
they will re- float the topics of the project uh, you can choose according to your interest uh, like unicef has uh, many profiles uh, few are uh, data analysis profiles few are this thing you can work on the ground few are related to nutrition you can do research in this uh, one of the student is currently in japan Okay. uh who was a she she was a unicef fellow and now she is in japan researching in something related to nutrition okay. a very good uh, job research opportunity she get so similarly you can choose a profile uh, second year from the second year onwards when your mtech project starts you start working under those projects one year you work uh, in your mtech time mm-hmm. one year extra you work uh, as they are uh, like they employ you for a year under research fellowship okay and then you can further choose to continue with unicef or you can sit for placements because they give you two extra year of placement also you can sit for placements in iit mumbai so basically you will have improved profile and you will have work experience then you can sit for placement you can get better placement also. okay uh, and okay. acha uh, one more thing in second year they give you a stipend of 15000 because generally you get 12400 from uh, aict or in the council of technical education but in second year since you are working in unicef they give you a stipend of 15000 in the second in the third year when you are working under unicef you give you get a stipend of around 60000 or something i'm not exactly sure with the amount but it is somewhere around 60 65000 mm. so unicef if i'm not wrong that is united nations international yes, children emergency children fund and... something like that right ha ha yes yes or wo ek specialized agency hai amitabh may mm-hmm. i want to ask you a question i don't know whether you know the answer for this mm-hmm. but still i want to ask you kya opportunity mil sakta hai united nation mein kaam karne ka if i do Haan, this sir. yes 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 uh, because uh, you are working under unicef only united nations only but as a research uh, fellow mm-hmm. but when you work for two or three because you can extend the fellowship after uh, you work for a year you can extend that and you work for two or three years then you are eligible to apply for a real uh like permanent job what you say you can work with the united nations and then you will have to go through an interview process and then you can be selected for uh, united to work for united nation and not just unicef you can also work for who world health organization you can work for uh, fao food and agriculture organizations so many subsidiaries also uh, employ you but then uh, it's not direct uh, like employment you have to go through a process Uh, that's true because program. you know jaise bolte na if you get play if you get mtech in uh, ms mtech or something btech in iit you can sit in many placements that does not uh-huh. guarantee the placement wo to aapko apna skill uh-huh. analysis karna padega so boy. iit can only give you opportunity i can only give you unicef uh, fellowship yeah. and opportunity if you don't work you will not get up, uh, you know these uh-huh. things but if you work so, hard you can explore mm-hmm. that so i uh, understood but then yeah i want to know whether there is a gateway for that so answer is yes, yes, yes obviously there is Mm. that is wonderful mm. now amita we know satara is mtech course but it is different from other mtech courses like uh-huh. where uh, you directly apply as per your grade score you get admission and all no interview mm. no sop something but we know mm-hmm. satara mm-hmm. mein aisa nahi hai satara mein not only they yes, ask yeah. you for sop but then they yes, ask yes, you for yes. detail some essay later on i don't know mm-hmm. so that we process mm-hmm. is very hectic for us also because uh-huh. students write and we keep on uh, mentors keep on doing that mm-hmm. tell me that process what is that mm-hmm. process satara ka Uh, sir first what happens is you apply in the, this thing with normally like you send a, just like you get the options you apply for it and then with it, they will give you a time frame because they select a cut off score and above those students they will send a mail to write an sop statement of purpose mm-hmm. so you write that sop and after that they'll again select few candidates and they'll ask them to conduct a survey uh, it could be either telephone or you can go to fields and then uh, it change the uh, background changes every year to what they want because last year they asked us to interview a few rural people and how their lives are affected because of covid so i conducted that telephonic uh, survey and then uh, you can like you ha- you have to show them ki you have the skill to research in field like you can ask them relevant questions and all those things so there the uh, the students might need a little bit of guidance to what to ask and how to approach that thing and after that they conduct an interview for selection they, then again they cut off then they conduct an interview for selection in satara so uh, then again after they know a certain number ki this much i want we want to select and uh, they have given a good number for uh, safe keeping then they again conduct an interview for fellowships uh, because uh, 
they have or every year they have few fellowships as i told you ki unicef and wife all those things so they conduct again interview for fellowships and then the final list is released okay okay this is wonderful so there is a process and if you meticulously follow you will get selected also right hmm. yeah 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 and uh, they don't uh, other departments even if they conduct interview they focus a lot on gate score this department they focus on gate score but a lot of focus is also given on how, what is your approach and how do you feel about working in rural environment like working for the development of rural environment. you don't exactly have to work in the rural area you can work in the field of technology also just i said ki you can work in building a technology but it should be helpful the purpose of the department is it should be helpful for the rural area it should be applicable in rural areas mm. that's true that's true so like uh, like you know you are working for rural in rural areas or working for um, poor people and um, you know working for environment yeah. sitting in new york united nations you can work for that yeah you can work for them yeah to do that uh-huh. yes so abhishek uh, sorry abhitab that is uh, wonderful uh, you know, points and wonderful uh, things you have told my last question to you is when mm-hmm. students think of rural technology departments what one mm-hmm. thing comes to their mind is ये तो रूरल टेक्नोलॉजी का एरिया है इसमें जॉब्स नहीं लगेगा वी विल हैव नो करियर व्हाट इज योर आंसर टू दैट यू हैव लेफ्ट सो मेनी अदर डिपार्टमेंट्स फॉर सटारा व्हाट इज योर आंसर टू दिस सर लॉट ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर देयर आई मीन आई कुड नॉट इवन आई डोंट इवन नो वेयर टू स्टार्ट विद आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट देयर इज रिसर्च रिसर्च अपॉर्चुनिटीज प्लेसमेंट्स आल्सो इफ यू सी द ऑलमोस्ट एवरीवन गॉट प्लेस्ड Mm-hmm. Uh, in our department and a good placement range like i cannot say the number exactly but they got a place in good mil jata darne wali baat nahi prospective darne to almost 100% placement hai if you sit for placement because most of the people they don't uh-huh. sit uh, yeah they don't sit for placement they go for research in different fields and uh, some are directly employed as a consultant with government agencies to government agencies i will be working with you so obviously i will not sit for placement for at least a year so if you sit for placements you will get placements there's no worries about that and i know few people who have started their own because they were working in developing few technologies so they started their own company and it is worth uh, they got a funding of 118 million dollar something okay. like that so so it's not just placements you can get placements it's very easy but you get a lot of other opportunities also to work for government to start your own product and like build your own company startups and all this thing and it's at the bombay so the incubator is also very good like if you have an idea they will help you build your own thing so it's it's a lot you can of build your entrepreneurial uh, things with that right yes yes acha aap in se fellowship bhi to milta na ek unicef ka have you told that fellowship kitna hai jo aapko milega third year mein amount sir 60000 उंडेशन you know this year uh, i am trying to make student interact with people like you like uh, you know okay. i i'll be uh, telling students about satara and whosoever will be interested for satara or getting call from satara to be specific mm-hmm. jaise pichli baar aapko call aaya tha satara ka to dimag mein bahut sa questions aata hai no mm-hmm. doubt hum log wo answer karte hain lekin is baar main soch raha hu ki wo why not uh, calling people like you only on board uh, mm-hmm. zoom pe aapko bula liya jaye और जो स्टूडेंट्स को सटारा से कॉल आया है उनकी जो डाउट्स हैं कि सब कैसे तैयारी करें क्या करें तो एक कॉमन सेशन हम लोग कर सकते हैं एज पर दूर अवेलेबिलिटी हाफ एन आवर फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स में आपसे लूंगा और जिसमें हम स्टूडेंट्स को वी कैन मेंटर देम एंड गाइड देम कि कैसे आगे प्रोसीड करना है राइट अमिताभ सो आई बी रिक्वेस्ट यू फॉर दैट सेशन फाइन चलो थैंक्स अलॉट एंड ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर यूर वंडरफुल करियर अहेड